This week is the start of our dinosaur unit. So for homework this week, you'll be listening to the book Discovering Dinosaurs. It is a non-fiction book. Discovering Dinosaurs, Level I. Table of Contents. Because this is a non-fiction book, you should see lots of text features, including headings, captions, photographs, bold words, a glossary, and a table of contents. Finding Fossils How do we know dinosaurs lived on Earth? We know because we have found fossils in rocks all over the world. Shown here, many fossils are on display in museums. Scientists have found fossils of dinosaur bones, footprints, teeth, nests, and eggs. You can see them all pictured below. These scientists are carefully digging dinosaur fossils out of the ground. They will wrap up the fossils to keep them safe. Then they will take them to a museum. At the museum, scientists will study the fossils. They try to fit bone fossils together to make a skeleton. Some pieces of the skeleton might be missing. Scientists use what they know about other animals to make pieces fit. Shown in this picture, a scientist fits Triceratops bone fossils together. In this picture, it shows that in some ways Triceratops, which is on the top, and horse skeletons, which is on the bottom, look the same. But you can also see in lots of ways they're different. Learning from fossils. Scientists study other animals to learn about dinosaurs. Dinosaur bones may be bigger, but many are shaped the same. Scientists compare dinosaur bone fossils to other animals. They learn that some dinosaurs walked, some swam, and some flew. Here you can see this is a swimming dinosaur, a flying dinosaur, and a walking dinosaur. Scientists study fossil footprints to see how fast dinosaurs moved. Some dinosaurs moved very slowly. Some moved faster than humans. Scientists study fossil teeth to learn what dinosaurs ate. Some teeth are sharp, like the teeth of meat eaters. Other teeth are flat, like the teeth of plant eaters. Here you can see the sharp teeth of a meat-eating dinosaur. Scientists learn about dinosaur babies from fossil nests and eggs. Some dinosaurs may have sat on their eggs like many birds do. And you can see a fossil nest with dinosaur eggs below. Scientists also find fossils of plants, fish, insects, and other animals. These fossils help them learn what Earth was like when dinosaurs lived here. In this picture, you can see layers of rock show where dinosaur fossils are found. The deeper under the Earth they are, the older the fossils are. How long ago? Scientists study rocks where fossils are found. Older fossils are deeper in the ground than newer fossils. No one knows for sure why the dinosaurs disappeared millions of years ago. Here you can see footprints of a large three-toed dinosaur. There's also a glossary and an index, two text features that are important. Now that you've listened to the book, it's time to answer your written comprehension questions. Here are some hints to help you answer to the best of your ability. First, make sure you use the question in your answer. Second, because this is nonfiction, make sure you're using specific details from the story. Third, use the book to find your answer. We call this text evidence. Fourth, use the word because to explain your thinking. Remember, the word because is a first grader's best friend. And last, check your work. A great way to do this is to read both the question and your answer out loud to yourself. Did you answer everything that they asked? 
and does your answer sound like it's complete? If so, you're ready to hand it in. Good luck!